What's up, my people? Um, guess you guys are doing great. Uh, very quick one. Uh, let me show you guys how to make this um, overlapping sleeve. See, serving as my pattern. The length of this is nine inches. The length of this is nine inches. Uh, just cut your basic sleeve. This is the round sleeve. So this one I'm cutting here is serving as a as a pattern. Just cut your normal basic sleeve, nine inches. So look at this. So now you are cutting the main the main sleeve on this on this fabric now. So after doing like this, you are going to measure four inches extension from here. You are going to measure four inches extension from here. Then you cough like this. Then you cut it like this. So you don't need this pattern again. So this is what we're working with now. This is what we're working with. So instead of using fabric like this, you can decide to just use paper. So you can decide to just use a, a paper pattern then you do your normal drawing. So on this part, measure about four inches. Measure about four inches from this part. um then about three inches up like this measure about three inches up like this or four either three or four depending on how open you want that place to be so from here then you're going to curve to that four inches you measure the other time so that that four inches here is not constant it can be three depending on how open you want it to be so after cutting you don't need this anymore this is what you are making use of so now just like i said you can decide to just use pieces to cut whatever you want to cut but i decided to make use of this fabric so just you are going to cut you are going to cut another one the bad the bad side of the fabric is going to face up it's going to face up then this other one that you want to cut the bad side of the fabric should face down so this is the upper part you are going to notch the both of them you are going to notch the both of them so you place it you're going to place it like this when you notch the center the way you you place it will not be a problem so this is what you are going to do so now this is the main this is the main fabric so you are going to cut lining you can decide to use lining you can decide to use maybe door face or satin then you can still decide to use the same fabric but in this particular video i'm using the same fabric i'm using the same fabric to if our fabric is going to serve as the lining so i've already gone with paper stay I've already gone with paper stay. So after placing, make sure the notches align together. So this is what it's going to look like. So just join the round as if you're taking the round sleeve measurement. Just join. Join with about one inch. One inch or so. So this is serving as the fabric. The, that is the first one is serving as the main clothing the second one is serving as the lining just like i said you can decide to use satin or normal lining so after after this you know, after joining the what the fabric and the lining so you are going to place this at the center then you are going to sew 
then you are going to you are going to sew all through you're going to sew all through you're going to turn turn it at the down part i don't think you really need a, a crinoline in making this but if you feel you want it to stand you can decide to add crinoline on this but i don't think it's necessary so you are going to notch i don't think crinoline is necessary but if you want it to, to stand you can just decide to so just turn it then you iron it turn and iron so after turning you don't forget this is a notch then you are going to place making the notch together you can see it's lapping already it's a lapping sleeve So all you need to do now is just tag together. All you need to do is tag them together. So after tagging, your sleeve is ready. You can see your overlapping sleeve is ready. So all you need to do now is just take your take your pleats in. You can just decide to to pleat two from yeah this is it after folding into two this is what it's going to look like after folding into two you notch so that you not get confused you not get confused so this is a sleeve then definitely you know we had it five uh, four inches at the upper part while cutting the sleeve so this is where that one now will take effect pleat two from here pleat two from here then you pleat another two from here so by the time you pleat this is what is going to look like this is what is going to look like then our beautiful overlapping sleeve is ready it's as simple as this thank you very much for watching please don't forget to share and subscribe see you guys next time